Hello everyone, and welcome to our update on May 26th, 2024. So this morning at half past eight, so we're going through the um, past 12 hour radar from today. So starting off this morning at half past eight, we had shower rain in Ulster and North Leinster, um, but elsewhere it was quite misty, quite murky, but it was dry at that point. Now, moving on towards the 9am to 10am to, um, 10 mark now, and we, and we saw some showers forming in East and North Munster, and these gradually pushed eastwards and northwards through the uh, morning and afternoon, and they got heavier and more widespread there, a real rash by, by noon and midday. And these showers kept on pushing eastwards and northwards. Um, I myself saw two decent downpours today, so, so that was a plus. Um, but yes, by um, 1 p.m., places like South and West Leinster, East Munster, North Munster, and Southwest Connex, um, a lot of showers, and also it was at that point pretty much that a warning for storms was issued by Met Erin because we saw some light, because we started to see some um, lightning in the showers in Leinster especially. Um, so moving on, the showers just kept pushing eastwards and northwards. So by 3 p.m., they were focused on parts of Leinster. Um, East and North Connex, um, those sort of um, places there, also East Munster, and into the evening these showers kept pushing northwards there, some very big downpours there in like Dublin, there was a storm in parts of Dublin and Meath, and they kept pushing up northwards into Ulster, South Ulster by 5pm, and even a storm there in Wexford there, in South Wexford, now that missed me, but I heard some rumbles from that. Uh, moving on then, um, these just these areas of showers merged into longer areas of heavy rain. So for me in um, County Wexford, it's been a very wet evening here. Um, also in parts of Dublin, parts of East Connex, also in Ulster. And these areas of rain are gradually pushing eastwards and northwards um, into the late evening. But still keeping going in many areas of East Leinster, East Connex and Ulster. So looking at our UKV high res 5 day forecast. Next, we can see that these areas of shower rain, downpours and storms are currently dying off. And tonight will be quite a cloudy night with shower rain in places. The, the um, remnants of the downpours today into tomorrow and Monday um, will we'll start off quite um, fair with some cloud and sunshine. There are probably more clouds, quite misty cloud like that. And then into the into the afternoon we see some showers breaking out although not nearly as widespread nor as heavy as those today then into the evening we see um this warm front coming up from the southwest this brings an area of rain with it through the early hours of tuesday morning and behind it obviously some warmer air some more humid air so tuesday afternoon we'll see more showers breaking out possibly heavy and thundery with the warm air mass in place into Wednesday, we see further showers um, coming in around the, around an area of around an area of low pressure. They're probably a bit less heavy than Tuesday's ones. And Thursday is drier and brighter and cooler as well. And Friday is a bit cloudier but still dry and bright. Um, moving on then to the temperature forecast from the UKV. So we can get this going, that's a bit of a different location there for the ads. Um, UKV temperature forecast is like this. So tonight we'll see lowest temperatures of around 8 to 10 degrees. Tomorrow's highest temperatures will range from around um, 13 to 16 Celsius. Best in any bright spells, especially in the Midlands and South and East. Into the early hours of Tuesday, lows of a, lows of a very mild 10 to 13 Celsius due to that warm front, and Tuesday should be quite a nice day, so highs of around uh, 15 to 20 degrees, almost in the east, and Wednesday starts very mild indeed, before Wednesday afternoon, a bit cooler, highs of around 15 to 18 degrees, that's not very good, Thursday's high temperatures cooler again, because of that northwesterly breeze of around 11 to 17 Celsius, mildest in, mildest in the south and southeast, where you're most sheltered from that breeze and Friday starts a bit cooler actually before Friday afternoon is Friday afternoon is even cooler than the days before it put it that way. Looking at the NAO index observer forecasters, we can see that we're currently um, very very weakly negative with the index. We'll go 
towards neutral towards the turn of the month, showing that we can see more Azor's high influences um, then, so some drier spells before we go more negative into early June, showing possibly even more low pressure then. Um, so let's confirm this with the uh, models then. So, th so here is the GFS 12 set. So the GFS 12 set is going for this love that today that brought all these showers and uh, downpours to fill and clear away tomorrow. And tomorrow, so tomorrow we'll still see a few showers, but not nearly as intense as those today. And Tuesday, we see a warm front early on, clearing to this uh, warmer wind from, from the southwest. Some more showers with that one, some heavy ones in there as well. Same for Wednesday, but Thursday is cooler with a northwesterly influence there. But by Friday and Saturday, the Azores High is building in, so um, we see a dry spell forming there, but probably quite cool as well because we're on the cool side of side of the ridge. It's throughout west. It's throughout west, so we bring in a northerly winds into early June. Then, so um, the Azores High actually builds in over us. That's pretty uh, decent actually for the first few days of June. But look at this low towards Greenland. What will that do? Well, in the end of the Azores High, there's a bit of Retrogression towards Greenland. Um, normally, this happens. This happens in the winter time, and that's when it's most hyped. But um, you know, it's happening in the summer. We're getting a northerly influence in June. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear! Before we see the, the westers come back there towards the end of the first ten days of June, and by June eleventh, twelfth, we're going into a flat westerly winds. So, June starts off quite pleasant, but quickly goes down the tubes. Um, here is the ECM. ECM tomorrow, westerly winds with your showers. Tuesday, lower to the northwest, uh, quite warm. Sort of got a westerly to southwesterly airflow. Um, some heavy showers there as well. Uh, after early rainfall, Wednesday is a bit cooler, but, but showery still, with low pressure in charge. Thursday, you see that low going eastwards, as well as high to our west. So we're getting a bit drier then, and Friday is also is coming even closer to us. So even drier then, probably quite cool though, as we're still bringing the wind in, for, the wind in from the Atlantic Ocean there, into the first of June and so on. As also I builds in quite nicely for the first weekend of June, but 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 um, it does the retrogression into Greenland. And the low dive southwards to create a northerly flow by June 5th. Now, normally these charts are seen in the wintertime. This is the classic scene for cold winter weather out of interest. Uh, actually, you know, that's a very chilly northerly wind in June. We've got the zero ice term coming through the country there. Even the minus five ice term is flooding with like Shetland and, and like Scotland there. So that's ridiculous. Um, yeah, we're getting down to like minus one, minus two degrees. You know, that's ridiculous. Obviously, not the surface that's at um, eight fifty HPA, but still, that's quite remarkable for June. Uh, that's a direct northerly winds. You don't often see that in the summertime. You don't often see that. Um, of course, it's ten years away. It might change, um, but for now, that's what it's showing. Both GFS and G and ECM are going for northerly wind. I think the ECM though is more intense with it. Here's a GEM. GEM has this low coming in tomorrow. No, no, sorry. Uh, Tuesday even, tomorrow's quite dry actually. Tuesday morning starts with rain before it clears to uh, sunshine and showers, some heavier thunder at times. Into Wednesday, we go cooler up until showery. Thursday's cooler and drier. Then the high pressure starts to build in for Friday and the weekends. Um, quite a nice weekend then uh, with plenty of sunshine, uh, a bit cool. Then the high goes to our west and pushes in a northwesterly wind there. Um, and eventually a northerly actually by June 5th. That's more intense than the ECM had it actually. Uh, so by June 5th, the ECM and GEM are both forecasting a quite a really quite chilly northerly wind there. That is, again, as I said, remarkable for early June. You don't, like, um, in all my years in Ireland, I've been here for eight years in Ireland, uh, and I've never seen I've never seen it happen in June before. Or July or August or any summer month, a northerly winds, northerly blasts, never. Um, pretty crazy. So, um, but just imagine, right, if that's January. It's not, sorry, it's not, it's June. Uh, moving on to the um, UK Met run. UK Met is like this. So we push in these winds from the west tomorrow, Monday, but the low is clearing away, so uh, 
only a few shoutouts to really tomorrow. Um, into Tuesday and Wednesday, n this new day comes in. Uh, some more rain showers around the place. Thursday, Friday, uh, Saturday, as all side comes in. So I think it's a new trend here, but I think it's clear that this low will drop in, like beyond Sunday, June second. Um, there's there is definitely a new trend here that um we have this week, like. It'll be, um, I said it was till Wednesday, Thursday time, but beyond that, we see the Azores High trying to come in. It does so for the first weekend of May and possibly into Monday, into Monday, uh, sorry, into the first weekend of June even, and possibly beyond that, uh, before by, like, but Tuesday, June 4th, that sort of time frame, the high pressure goes to the west and, uh, that trough towards Greenland dives southwards and pull in northerly winds. Um, now that's a classic winter scenario and it's happening in the summer. Uh, it's a bit ridiculous. Um, here is the icon. So the icon run is like this. So again, this trough is bringing all these uh, downforce today. That will clear off before we see um, a new low coming in by Tuesday, Wednesday, so that's pretty pointless. Uh, by the end of the month, though, yes, as we know, the Azores is coming in um, quite nicely, so very strongly there. Now, is that low that is watching big time? So we get to Monday, June 3rd. And I think that um, this high is starting to move that way. I will connect with this one over there, and then this trough will just dive southwards. I mean, just classic winter. Jesus Christ. Um... Yeah, as I said, I never see this before in the summer. Um, here is the uh, arpege. The arpege is like this, and again, tomorrow is quite dry and westerly, quite warm as well. Um, by Tuesday, this we see early rain clearing to sunshine and heavy showers. Into Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, we go northwesterly. Then actually by May thirty first, again, as all sides is to our west. Um, Waiting to build in. So yes, very, very interesting charts today. Um, so I think yesterday or something, the GFS 6 head run was, was forecasting a very dry and warm first 10 days of June, like last June. That's totally gone gone down the pan, like I said it would pr probably do. That's probably a um, one-off run at whilst we're back to the, the um, trends of a uh, Coles not cold, but quite a cool, chilly, unsettled early June here with possible northerly blasts. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite interesting. Definitely quite interesting to see that. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, I'll see you tomorrow, and bye for now.